Hello again and welcome to our Wednesday Wellness Workshop. This week we are focusing on extremities. Extremities are anything that are not part of the main core of the body. So think your shoulders, elbows, wrists, hands, fingers, or even your legs from the hips, knees down to the feet. Now in those situations, most people don't think about chiropractors in order to take care of that because we focus primarily on the spine. Well, literally everything attaches to the spine. And as part of that, we have what's called a kinetic chain. In other words, if the neck is off, it can affect the shoulder. If the shoulder's off, it affects the elbow. If the elbow's off, it goes all the way down into the hand. So as a chiropractor, we're checking on the spine to make sure your backbone is in the right spot, but we're also evaluating those extremities. I bring this up because you might know somebody that can bring up their right arm no problem, but then can't raise their left arm very high in one way or another. As a matter of fact, I have a lady I'm taking care of right now who had a slip and fall and landed on her shoulder and she's having a very hard time bringing it up on her own. She has to help that arm coming up. As a result of proper chiropractic care and evaluation, she is getting a much better range of motion as she's going through this and ideally by the time we're all done, she'll get the range of motion that she deserves. I bring this up because if you know anybody in a similar situation, they've gone through the gamut of different items trying to figure out what's going on, why they're not able to move their arms or their legs as well as they should, let them know that chiropractic can help. If you're in that situation, a really simple stretch that you could start doing right now to help is called a pendulum stretch. All you have to do is let your arm hang down, so it's almost like a dead weight, and then rotate the arm in a circular direction. Imagine you're stirring a giant pot, and go about five to 10 times clockwise, and then five to 10 times counterclockwise, so that you're moving in both directions. That's a great way to start getting movement back into the arms when it's lost. If this helps you or someone you know, please share or comment this video with others and let anybody know that's going through the situation that chiropractic can help. Dr. John Winery, the Wyoming Valley Chiropractic Center, and we'll see you next week.